Hi everyone, welcome back to the Watford Way and uh, and yeah, unfortunately this is not the video I wanted to, I wanted to be making. Um, Watford have been relegated from the Premier League, uh, but I'm going to try and put a smile on my face. And uh, this is not um, an Arsenal match review, by the way. I thought it's best, it's best we didn't review that game, um, you know, because what what will be will be, and ultimately we weren't we weren't good enough throughout the whole season, so. So yeah, look, we relegated, um, it's over now, I feel relieved, um, but just before I start recording this video, there is one thing I wanted to address, and that is a statement by um, Watford Football Club, I've got it in front of me here on my phone, and it's, it's called Two Watford Fans from Gino Pozzo and, and Scott Duxbury, and, um, and that's what I'm going to be reading to you now, um, and there's a, yeah, uh, it's, it's a quite a good statement, they... Uh, they admit they've made mistakes, and yeah, so um, I'm going to read this to you now, and um, and hopefully we can move forward as a football club and go into next season with some positivity. Right, so let's get into this statement then. So, it begins just by saying, statement from um, Hornets owner, chairman and CEO. So that's obviously Gino Pozzo, owner of the football club, and Scott Duxbury, who is the CEO of Watford. Uh, he's been here for pretty much as long as the Pozzos have. Um, so good to see they've both come out and, uh, and made a statement regarding our season and what's going to happen moving forward to the football club. So, to start with, they, they go on to say, The world hasn't stopped turning. Even though at times yesterday we all had feelings of despair. But from despair has to come hope. And that is why as a club, as a community and as a group who have Watford Football Club in our hearts, we must build for a successful future. There is obviously a huge disappointment at losing our Premier League status. I do agree, I am very disappointed, Scott and Gino. <laughs> but we cannot pretend otherwise. Every club wants to be playing at the highest possible level. What league we play in, however, does not define the football club. We will not allow the core values of Watford to become diluted simply because we are not playing in the Premier League. Everything we have achieved as a club over the past eight years should not be forgotten. The fact we have transformed Vicarage Road Stadium, which they have, you know, building our new stand, um, they've basically repainted everything, we've got new restaurants, um, it does look really nice, so um, it's good to have acknowledged that. So they've gone on to say, the fact we have transformed Vicarage Road Stadium and built a club of true substance with links to the community um, that are the envy of many is a source of great pride. What we did for our, for our NHS neighbours during a time of true crisis should stand as a beacon for what this club embodies. And I have to say, on, um, on what they did for the NHS, um, I do applaud them for that. They got that spot on. Um, and ultimately, as much as we love Watford and love football, um, there's bigger issues in the world than football and Watford Football Club. And um, it's good to see that they helped um, the local community around Watford and Watford General Hospital during what 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 is what is and still is um, a ongoing world crisis with the coronavirus pandemic, so it's good to see they've acknowledged that. And ultimately, um, it's fantastic we even got football back. Um, let alone what Watford did, what the football club did for the local community. So um, I do applaud them for that. That is something they've got bang on this season um, in terms of helping the community. And it's good to see that them values are still within the football club. They go on to say, we have always said that we are here for the long term and we will not allow this one moment of great disappointment to stop the continued development of this club over the next eight years and beyond. That is not to distract from mistakes that were made surrounding the team this season. We have to be honest with ourselves and admit our efforts surrounding the team were not good enough. So uh, they've admitted there um, and I think what fans will be pleased to see that 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 they've admitted that they've made these mistakes surrounding, surrounding everything from recruitment to manager dismissals, managerial recruitment, um, Felipe, people like Filippo Giraldi influencing tactics on the touchline. Um, so hopefully this is something they'll review, review quite quickly and we can move on from it and hopefully um, start a new era at Watford um, in the Championship but hopefully we can get back to the Premier League um, ASAP. 
There will be lessons learned and changes made, but from today we move forward. We have to accept a different challenge, and that challenge being a championship. Um, we will make mistakes where the team is concerned, and those changes will make us stronger, ready to face the challenges that lie ahead and rekindle the passion that has always been a hallmark of this great club. In sport, you always face moments of great disappointment, but it's how you react to that that defines you. And then I think the most important part of this statement in regards to the future of Watford, uh, they've said, rest assured, we will do everything in our power to take Watford Football Club back to the Premier League, something we all believe we can achieve. Best regards, Gino Pozzo, owner of Watford, and chairman and CEO, Scott Duxbury. So, uh, so yeah, that's the statement. Um, <laughs> In terms of what I think um, regarding the situation, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just pleased we got football back. I'm pleased the season finished. I'm pleased we know we now know our fate. Um, and I'm pleased the football club, as I said earlier, um, helped the local community during, during the coronavirus pandemic. And that is ultimately um, the most important thing and the most important thing that's come out of this season that, um, that you know, some clubs didn't, didn't do nowhere near as much as Watford to help their communities. So um, so it's good to see, as I said, that them values are stored in the football club. In terms of where we go from here, well, we're a championship club now. So hopefully um, we can move forward, get our recruitment right, get a new manager in. We've got a new kit coming. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so um, yeah, it's exciting. Of course it's exciting. It's disappointing but exciting at the same time so uh so yeah we move forward um i just want to say a big thanks to all of you for supporting the Watford way over the past season uh it's really really appreciated uh you can follow us on all our social media twitter instagram facebook and of course here on youtube so i would very much appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button um as we're now a championship club so <laughs> i'd like all the support i can get um, I've got a couple of fans coming up now, um, just giving their views on the game. Um, if you want to watch that, um, uh, they look they look towards next season as well. Um, they make some really interesting points, so uh, that's always good to see. Always good to get some some new fans on, and yeah, um, that's it. That's it for the 2019 uh, 20 season. Uh, no longer a Premier League club, and we move forward. Uh, to the championship that starts on September the 12th. So big thanks for watching this video, everybody. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing safe and doing well, as that's the most important thing. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Adam from Watford Opinions on Instagram. Um, well, I'll start off by reviewing the match today. Um, it was definitely a tough one. We started off slowly, but to be honest, overall, I thought we were the better team and that a loss was a very harsh and unfair result but I mean it was a poor start the penalty I think was very very questionable and that we were hard done by that but at the end of the day I can see why it was given um, and then we started playing better as well right after that I'm pretty sure Pereira had a chance which he should have swatted away quite easily but that went right into Martinez and then the uh, Kieran Tierney scored his goal off of the deflection and then Aubameyang scored and we were 3-0 down just like that and it all seemed to be over at that point. We got our penalty, Dini put it away well um, and so that, that restored hope but obviously we were all checking our phones and seeing that West Ham versus Villa was still 0-0 so 3-1 still didn't quite seem like it would be enough. And then after the break we, start, we, played, well, we played well as well and then we got our second goal through Welbeck but I mean after that we had the majority of the possession I'm pretty sure after that and we had many many chances Welbeck had his back heel flick that got saved and it's just really unfortunate that we didn't put away our chances because I mean we should have won the possession I'm pretty sure was even as an overall statement about the game but it's just sad we fought hard I mean we would have had to score two more goals to go through uh, to stay up considering uh, Aston Villa did get a draw but yeah now time for my opinion on us going down to the championship I mean it's sad but if you, we need to put everything into perspective I, we were in the championship for eight years and between our last span and this span in the Premier League and I mean we're 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 probably not one of the 20 biggest clubs in England um so I mean the championship it's gonna be fun it was fun when we were in it before 
I remember that 2014-15 season when we went up, that was one of the best seasons ever. Um, I mean, the performances are fun. It's just a different type of mentality. It'll be sad to see the likes of Dale Lefeu, Docore, Saar, maybe Cavicelli go, but we're going to finally get to see the youth players we wanted to see for a while. I mean, we got Suarez, Estupinon, Cucho coming back from loan as well. Ben Wilmot coming back as well. He'll be good. Um, I, I do think on um, players like Estupinon and Suarez, they might be going away to bigger clubs, but we never know with them. But I feel we'll be able to make the average age of our squad a lot younger in the championship. Hopefully we can come right back up, which I, which I think we can, but we might have to do a couple years of rebuilding. But I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to support Watford, whatever division we're in. So it's not the end of the world. It's also, when put in perspective, this is arguably the second best span we've ever had in history. I wasn't alive for when he was around, but Graham Taylor, I mean, that's obviously number one, but I don't really know if there's any time besides that that even comes close to how we've been now. So we made a major cup trophy for the second time in our history last year. We finished 11th last year, which is our highest ever Premier League finish. And yeah, it's, it's sad that we've gone down. I wish we were in the Premier League next year, but it's going to be exciting to be in the championship. We're going to I'm hoping we can keep, keep hold of most of our players. We'll probably see a couple new faces in the squad as well. But yeah, it'll be exciting, and we're going to stay supporting no matter where we are. I'm sure we'll all shed a couple tears, but at the end of the day, we're Watford forever. Come on, you horns. Hi there, Brennan again from the Watford FC, the Netherlands Dutch Hornets. Where to start? Uh, first of all, we cannot watch the game in his complete on the Dutch TV, we get a switch program uh, that we need to see. We see a lot of the Manchester United game against Leicester. Um, what we see from the Watford game was the highlights, the goals, uh, the chances. So let's start with my review on the game and afterwards uh, a preview on the next season in the Championship. Um, where to start? Start with the fault from Dawson. It was a penalty if the uh, referee did give it directly, not three minutes after that it happens. Takes a long while when the VAR was looking at it. So I think Arsenal got a little bit lucky there in the fourth minute to get that penalty. And Mbion scores. Uh, he was still in the race for the Golden Bullfold. So of course he takes the penalty. So we went 1-0 down after just 7 minutes if I'm not mistake. Uh, after that one, the second go in, the third from Amal Bayong, poor defending from us. I think that is what uh, happened this season. We were poor in defending. Uh, Dele Feu went get an injury, that, that's all what this season is, is about. I think after that 3-0, you know, we played very well, uh, even when we 3 not down. Uh, we watched the other games, Everton get that 1-1 one -one just before half-time. Um, you know, they could, something happens. Uh, Aston Villa was still nil nil at half-time, so you still pray for something, but you know, it will be very difficult to say. Uh, um, that second half, I think we start well again, we play good, um, if you look to the stats what we need to do in the, in the Netherlands because we can't watch the game uh, in it all, so we need to watch the uh, stats, they're looking very decent for what for it, uh, also we get two chances in that second half, big chances with uh, good players, uh, we get that 3-1 good penalty by Troy, um, Afterwards, we get that 3-2 by Danny Welbeck against his former club. So, yeah, then you have still, it was, I think, 25 minutes ago at a time. Um, we, If that 3-3 tree tree is coming, you still can win, maybe, or get a draw and pray that West Ham will win. And then we get that 3-2, it was, I think, in the 16 and 86 minutes. Uh, as the Villa came in front against uh, West Ham, West Ham came back two minutes later at that 1-1. So, 
you still know we need to win. We need to win this game, and we have only the added time. So it looks like more and more that we're going down. That final whistle blows. Uh, we could expect it a little bit. We expect it already, but it's always hard when you're going down. Uh, even if you a little bit expect it, you still uh, keep believing that you can stay up. Um, that we next season the Premier League. So now my previews on the next season. I think for Watford it's maybe not the worst that we go down. Uh, players will leave, of course. Maybe Saw, maybe Delefeu, maybe uh, Ducare, um, maybe Welbeck. Players like that, they will leave. Uh, maybe. So that that that's not good. But uh, we can build on a new squad, a good squad to. Uh, fighting for promotion next season. The championship is a very difficult, difficult competition. Um, I don't know the ins and outs at Hill City, but look at Hill City. They play as well a semi final, I think, five to eight years ago. They played semi final in the FA Cup. They're playing very well in the Premier League, going down and now going down to the League One. So um, let's hope Watford can. Get a really good squad. Get players on loan from maybe top flyer teams. Um, we get a few players back from loan from the um, Premier Division, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, players come back to to Watford. Uh, so yeah, let's hope they can uh, do something in that new squad. Um, look forward to how it will become at the manager uh, position maybe this one will stay or we get a new one um, but I think the goal for Watford will be to promote it directly again to the Premier League I think we will fight um, maybe get champions of the championship second of thir third so if we could be third that will be a long way again to coming back because uh, you have that games in the at Wembley. Uh, let's hope next season there are. Um, it's allowed to go to the Vicarage Road, so we can support the Dutch Horn, uh, the Hornets. Excuse me, uh, we as Dutch Hornets will go as well, if it possible with this COVID situation. Hopefully, uh, it will be possible, and we will go up next season. I will be there next season, hopefully, again. So, I hope to see you soon and uh, take care. See you later.